If there are any questions from brothers and sisters, they're most welcome. Any sisters have any questions? Assalamu alaikum, brother. Wa alaikum um, assalam, barakatuh. Actually, brother, I want to know the people, those who don't have money, but they have iman, and they want to uh, study in this school like IIS, so they can't afford. So what the solution will be from your side? The sister asked question that there are people who have iman and they don't have the money. So how can they study in this school? Sister, there are many people who even have the money and they want to study, they can't study. That's point number one. There are many people who are millionaires who have failed that test and they cannot get admission. Point number one. So money is not the criteria to get into our school. The criteria is that, sister, you should pass our various examinations that we have for the children and for the fathers. The thing that I do know that the fees of our school is a little bit high. It is 4,750 along with term fees comes to average 5,500 rupees. So what we have, sister, we have 25% seats reserved for those who cannot afford the fees. 25%. So what happens here, I do agree that the competition in the scholarship is far more higher than the competition in the full fees. Previously, we didn't have this. We said anyone who gets into, gets into it. So first year, we had no criteria. We just said that anyone who gets in, gets in. So then we realized that we give scholarship to 50%. So that was the first year, we said no problem. Then we realized that if we keep on, we will have to close down the school. So then we made a policy sister that 75% full fees and 25% scholarship. The next year, we realized that a person earning 50 lakh rupees a month, he's saying, I want scholarship. I can't afford what I'm going to do. Huh? Wearing expensive Rolex watch, maybe four or five lakh rupees, my estimate. Saying I can't afford, what I'm going to do? I can only afford 2,000, what can I do? So then we made a new policy. That scholarship only for zakat accepting students. Right? So we're making it more strict so that people don't fool us. Not that we can go and check. One thing is that the Muslims, mashallah, as zakat is concerned, most of them will not lie. Yet you may find one or two people so that we leave it to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. We can't get 100%. So then we made a rule that in the scholarship, we'll only give scholarship to those people who are liable to accept zakat. So in this system, what happened is that in the full fees, on an average, every three person applying gets into the school. In the scholarship, every 15 person applying gets into it, on an average. So the thing is that one is to 10 is approximately the ratio overall. But the scholarship is more difficult, five times more difficult to get in because the seats are limited. And here we realize that even then, if we really find a person who's up to the level, we have yet not seen the percentage. If we really find people or really the taqwa is there, everything is there, and our criteria are fulfilled. But the problem is we see various criteria. We make judgment on our own, checking the level of the child, of the father, of the mother, etc. There are so many cases. I have not met a single rich person in the whole interview of these five years, who when we told them remove the cable, that he will not remove. I have not met. After writing, he has not removed that secondary. But I met a poor man, willing to pay 500 rupees. He had already passed. He came finally into you, but cable to nahi So understand, na? So failed. So the thing is, the next year applied, then it's gone. There were other people with better levels. Imagine, already finally interview, everything is going on. He said, I have not removed the cable. I said, don't remove the cable, it will fail. So then the iman can't be counted as high. And then later on he came, cable TV Nikal Longa, he appeared, but he failed in the first level only. Because the level of competition keeps on increasing. When the level keeps on increasing, we take the best people. Fine? So sister, anyone who says he did not get admission because he could not pay the fees, he is lying to you. I am telling you. Yeah, he can say that I did not come into the competition. Then fine. So anyone who says he did not get admission, there are many students who are studying free in the school. Free, some are paying 100 rupees, some are paying 500 rupees, some are 1,000 rupees, and more than 25%. Present average, about 40% on scholarship today. 35 to 40% on scholarship today. So the thing is, anyone who's telling you, sister, is lying to you, but the grapes are sour. You know, that's what happens. There are many rich people who have been refused admission. Many rich people have come and have refused, have been refused admission, which, and many people who were close to me also have been refused. So nothing that you have to know, Dr. Zakin Naikwell, etc. It is just that you pass the criteria. Yes, if you know me and if I know you as a guy, the chance of getting is more. That way, fine. So therefore, we even write the mention, who do you know who can give reference? To someone, other person who says that he's a good die, etc. Die means gets a high preference. 
but that is one aspect. But the other aspects are very weak. Then you may yet not get admission. So the thing is, sister, it's a competition. It's an open competition, mashallah. Anyone who gets into it. And so far, sister, I'll be very frank with you. We have not filled our seats. Though our limitation is 24, we will prefer having only 15 students or 10 students, but having good students. We have a lot of applications, but because our criteria is so high, we are intended in filling. If the more people come, we'll start one more division. That's not a problem. So we want to get the right people and set an example. And then maybe once our school is successful, more successful, and we have more branches, then maybe the criteria may come down. That's a different thing. But now the criteria has to be strict so that the first sample school that we have should be mashallah. And you may be shocked to know that Oman, they want to open a branch because they saw the program on the satellite of our last annual day. Last, not this time, last time. When the school was only two and a half years old. Two and a half years old the school was. And some students were there for six months. One third students were in their school for six months. One third were for one and a half years. One third for two and a half years. And the result, they were so happy with it. So inshallah, now a new annual day hasn't been on air. It will come inshallah very shortly. So the thing is that we have got offers in Dubai, we have got offers in Riyadh, we have got offers in Jeddah. I'm talking about outside. In India, mashallah. And inshallah, I said now the channel has started maybe wait for a year or so and then we will launch this project inshallah but yet we want to go slow because the school to function it has certain requirements etc sister so the thing is that it's a unique school by itself yet there are many things which we have problems over massive many things that what I wanted as the ideal school yet there are many things to be done but yet alhamdulillah summa alhamdulillah whatever is available in the market it is one of the best alhamdulillah what we want to improve is a lot. Many things to do with premises, everything. But yet, mashallah, the beauty of it is that many people, after seeing this, they want to replicate it. And to replicate the finance is not a problem. They are ready to fund everything. But we said, let our other projects for stabilize. And we have plans, inshallah, of having such schools in different parts of the world also. Hope that answers the question, sister.